The 2017 Galaxy J5 has a pair of 13 megapixel cameras in the front and the back. That sounds pretty good, but let's go ahead and see how good they are. Let's take a quick look at the camera app on the Galaxy J5. The app is exactly what you would expect from a Samsung Galaxy device. Swipe from the left and you get the different shooting modes. There are plenty of shooting modes to start with. It's great that Samsung decided to include a pro mode with full manual controls. Swipe from the right and you get the different image filters. Swipe from the top and you can switch cameras. Press the settings button on the top to access the different camera settings. You can adjust the aspect ratio, the resolution of both the cameras and plenty of other settings here. Please note that both the cameras top out at Full HD for video. You also have the option to quick launch the camera by double tapping the home button. Let's see how good is the J5 in focusing. The focusing speed of the Galaxy J5 is not great. It just gets the job done. I also happen to notice that when you click the shutter button to take a picture, there is a split second gap before the phone can actually take the picture. Let's examine some of the photos taken with the Galaxy J5. This picture was taken in good daylight conditions. The color reproduction is pretty good and the dynamic range is decent. The picture could have been a bit sharper though. I took this picture when I was driving the car and the photo came out pretty decent. This macro shot came out great with plenty of detail. The subject is exactly in focus and the auto mode does a pretty good job of adjusting exposure. Let's look at another macro shot. Just see how good the details are preserved in this picture. The conditions were windy and the flowers were shaking and yet the J5 managed to get a really good picture. This picture of the signboard is taken with a flash on. In poor lighting conditions, the photos are just average, the phone struggles to focus and there's plenty of noise. This is a selfie picture in fair lighting conditions. Without the flash, the photos are decent. Since the J5 has a front-facing flash, when the picture is taken, both the flash and the screen lights up and creates a really good picture. This is a quick video sample from the rear camera of the Galaxy J5. Let's quickly test the stabilization on this camera. I'm just walking down. Overall, the J5 has a pretty decent camera. It takes really good pictures in good lighting conditions. However, in low light, the phone just struggles. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to the channel.